Finance Minister Wendell Motley says stronger regulations are needed for the development of the region's financial system. As Ingrid Ishmael reports, government intends to amend its Securities Industry Act to provide for the establishment of a Securities and Exchange Commission. Minister Motley was speaking at the opening of the 20th General Meeting and Conference of the Caribbean Association of Indigenous Banks. Mr. Motley is convinced his government has pursued the correct policies in the liberalization of its economy and financial sector. This liberalization, he says, has embraced the foreign exchange market and is setting the stage for the small inward-looking players to become institutions whose perspectives are regional and global. The minister also stresses that it is important for this region to mobilize the savings required for investment. Our financial institutions, banks, insurance companies, money market institutions and secondary market institutions must play a greater role in the mobilization of domestic savings and the channeling of those savings into profitable investment opportunities within our region. Chairman of the Caribbean Association of Indigenous Banks, Mushtaq Khan, says the region's foreign debt is $9 billion U.S. dollars. This, he adds, continues to affect sustainable growth and development. Mr. Khan says cutting back on expenditure is used as an interim to meet the demands of this debt servicing, which inevitably cripples economic growth. As bankers, Mr. Khan believes interest rates that encourage thrift, domestic prices that leave consumers with surpluses, and monetary policy that discourages capital flight must be encouraged. Today's talks will center around total quality management and privatization. Governor of the Central Bank, Ainsworth Harewood, is convinced that poor management is a common denominator for a failed bank. While poor economic conditions make it more difficult for a bank to steer a profitable course, the policies and procedures of a bank's management and board of directors have the greater influence on whether a bank will succeed or fail. In other words, poor management and other internal problems are the common denominator of failed and problem banks. Ingrid Ishmael for CCN News.